Hello students, I am Professor Ajay Dhruv and today I will be giving a gist on the subject GIS that is Geographic Information Systems. This subject is an elective subject which is there for semester 6 BSc IT. I will be speaking on what is a GIS system, some examples so that you understand what is a GIS system and finally how these GIS systems are handled or how they are managed in day to day life. So let us start with what do you mean by a GIS system. GIS stands for Geographic Information Systems. So it is a type of computer system which captures data, stores this data, analyzes the data to make certain decisions and then represent this data in a visual form such as graphs, maps or charts. Let me give you some examples. Example number one. Suppose you are standing at church gate and you wish to go to Washi and you are really confused which is the best possible route to go to Washi. Then you realize you have a smartphone, you go to Google Maps, you enter a source as church gate, destination as Washi and within few minutes Google Maps will give you all the possible solutions. For example, if you go by train, then this is the possible duration which will take to reach from Churchgate to Washi. If you go walking, then this is the distance and this is the estimated time to reach your destination. If you go by road, then this is the total distance, this is the route from Churchgate to Washi. And considering the real time traffic, Google Maps will tell you the estimated time to reach your destination. So now possibly you are aware that these are the possible routes and you would be in a state to take a proper decision to reach from church gate to Washi. So this is a typical GIS system which helps users to communicate from one place to another. Example number two. GIS systems are used in a day to day life for weather monitoring and forecasting. So as we see in the news, the temperature for today in so and so region is minimum 30 degrees Celsius, maximum 45 degrees Celsius. So these are all GIS satellites which help in weather forecasting and monitoring. Example number three, GIS satellites are also used to predict natural calamities like earthquakes, tsunamis and floods. Example number four, suppose you go to a new place, say for example, London or Paris and you're really not aware which are the best tourist places to visit. So maybe you can hang on to some app which will help you as a travel guide. It will tell you the best places which tourists often visit, for example, say historical monuments or places of entertainment or maybe some nearby beaches or churches, etc. Another example I would like to give you is about the police which uses the GIS system for crime mapping. So what happens is, say for example I have a region where the rate of unemployment is very high, so the chances that crimes or burglary in that particular area would also be high. So what the police does is, they acquire this data they try to link all the socio-economic attributes and form some patterns on these hotspots. Later, correlate these attributes and take some decisions. So all this data is represented on a map and later it can be used to find out the location where a crime will occur. So I hope by all these examples, you know that what are the GIS systems that we use in our day-to-day -day life. So now you have these GIS systems with lot of massive data and when I talk about data, it is attribute data. What is attribute data? Say for example, I have a road, then the attributes or characteristics of a road is the width of the road and the speed limit of the road. So all this attribute data is stored in tables. Now tables have rows and columns where rows are called as tuples and columns are called as fields. 
and the place of intersection is the value. Now this data is stored in databases or attribute tables and once your table is ready, these tables are linked to each other via relationships. Like you have one-to-one -one relationship, one-to-many relationship, many-to-many -many relationships and then a proper interaction of all these tables take place in a GIS system. Now this attribute data is stored with some data types. So the data types of attributes are integers, short and long end, floating point values, again single precision, double precision. Then you have binary large objects which are used to store image and multimedia files and some type of other measurement scales like your interval data like we have temperature in the range of 30 degree to 40 degree so this data is measured in the form of interval data so the conclusion is I have this massive data stored in my database management system and this entire data is my input for the GIS system like I gave you the example of the crime mapping once the police gets all these all this data this data is put on maps the attributes of that particular location say for example population the employment rate the number of males all these things are analyzed and then proper decisions are taken so my dear friends i hope after this introductory session you must have got some insight about this particular subject. According to the university syllabus, there are total six modules. There are sums, algorithms and map designs. We at Vidyalankar ensure that each and every student understands the subject in the most easiest way. So since this is an elective subject, I suggest you to opt for it and looking forward to see you at Vidyalankar. Thank you.